What's up team? It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in this video I'm going to give you one tip, one tip, one trick that's just going to make learning to code a little bit easier for you and make it uh, infinitely more enjoyable. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, whatever. Let's get into it. Alright team, it is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and real quick, for those of you that are interested, you can find these hats over at Right Code drinkcoffee.com right code drinkcoffee.com you can find this and other hats you can find some stickers and some mugs there as well right code drinkcoffee.com if you're looking for some swag that's going to keep you motivated that's going to keep you inspired and help you become the person that you were meant to become all right team here is the tip that's going to help you that's, that's going to make learning to code a little bit easier and also uh make it infinitely more enjoyable here it is right here, team. Start with the end in mind. And this is what I've learned in, in my many, many years studying programming and computer science and web development and, and IT technology and all the different stuff that I've that I've done is I've learned that you want to have a very clear idea of what the end result is going to be. So in life, as soon as soon as possible, and we aren't taught this in school, at least not here in America, figure out what type of life it is you want to live not what type of life you want to live in 40 years when you retire but what type of life is it that you want to live right now when you're a kid you want to play with toys all day every day and for most kids that is a reality they get to play with toys all day every day and then somebody says yo kid come on you got to go to school and we go off to school and we're taught this and we're taught that and we're taught this and we're taught that and we're taught all of these things in silos they're all separate from one another we're not taught that the world is one big cohesive place we find this stuff out later on but even still we're not taught any of the stuff that we need in order to go out into society and to to really be prosperous and live the lives that we want to live and even if we were taught that stuff if we aren't taught to start with the end in mind uh, it'll all be fruitless anyway we did just all be running around do it doing doing stuff like like we are like we are not for the most part start with the end in mind so you want to learn the code you want to be a software developer you want to build web applications you want to build websites but exactly why do you want to do this and being and saying that i want to do this because you know over the next x amount of years the number of jobs for programmers and developers or whatever is go is going to go to this magnificent height right and so i want to learn to do this so i can go out and i can get a job and i can i can make a bunch of money while 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 this trend is going on and then I, i'll take that money and i'll use it to do the thing that i really want that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about like if you woke up tomorrow morning and you had a million dollars what would you do that's the thing that you should be trying to get to and so if you woke up tomorrow morning, like you want to learn the code, if you woke up tomorrow morning and you had a million dollars and you wouldn't get up and sit down at the computer and start coding, then don't, I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even start there because learning to code is going to become this hard, miserable thing. And years down the road, you are going to resent the fact that you even took that path. Now, if you're like, yo, like I would grab one of these books and I would sit out and I would learn this programming language or that programming language or this programming language that's where you should start right because now you're tuning your mind into the universe and telling it this is what i want to do right this this is how i want to spend my time now we figured out how we want to spend our time but what is that going towards right are we going to build this big application are we going to build a business do we do we just want do we want to spend our time helping a company grow its products and services or do we want to go into a company where we can teach other people the things that we've learned where we can share our ideas where we can share our thoughts share our opinions those are the things we should be thinking about the money should be the last thing now money we all need i need money you need money we all need money that's why i make the hats that's why i have the website that's why i make the youtube videos but i also make them because this is how i would like to spend my time i want to help people do stuff it should be the same for everybody out there. What is it that you want to do? How do you want to spend your time? What is it that you want to achieve? How do you want to spend your days, your nights, your weekends? Do you want to travel? Do you want to stay at home? Do you want to like, that's the thing you should be aiming for. This is what I want my day to be. This is what I'm going to make my day become. 
You're excited to wake up. You're excited to get to work. You're excited to get started. You're excited to do what you have to do. You're excited to go out and build your business. You're excited to read that next book, right? You know it's going to be hard, but you pick it up anyway. And you resolve, like, I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm going to go all the way to the end because there is something on the other side of that thing. I'm going to be able to go out and share how to do this with X amount of people. I'm going to be able to go out and I'm going to be able to work in a place and, and help the company grow and teach other people inside of this company and make good friends and all of these things. Now, I'm not, I don't want to put words in your mouth or ideas in your head or, or whatever, right? What you got to do is you got to sit down and got to figure out this stuff for yourself, right? You can't let anybody else tell you what it is that you want. Like, you know, the societal norm is to, you know, go out and start a family and buy a house and buy a car. But that's not for everybody. There's a lot of people who are on that path and they don't like it. They want to go travel around the world, but they believe that before they can go do that, they have to they have to check these blocks that society has given us. And it is true. We have been given blocks to check. That's why the education system is like it is. We go to school, right? Somebody says, do this, we do this thing. And then they, they grade us on how well we were able to follow the instructions of the thing. Over time, we become conditioned to follow these instructions. So when we reach a certain point and somebody says like, hey, the American dream is this house with a white picket fence and a car and a dog and 2.5 kids and a husband or a wife, the programming kicks in. And we start down this road. And along the way, we're going like, dude, like this isn't, I don't know, this, something doesn't feel right about this. We saw this in the movie The Matrix. Neo was on this path. He's doing this thing, but he doesn't feel right about it. And then boom, something pops up. And now Neo's on a different path. So hopefully this will be that path for you. But look, you can't let anybody else tell you what the path is. Remember Morpheus said, I can't, I can't. I have to show you. You got to see it for yourself. It's, but it's for you to decide. You have to figure this out for you. I can't tell you what it is that you're missing. You have to see it for yourself. And that's exactly what life is. You have to see it for yourself. You have to block out all of the other stuff. All of the things that you believe that is necessary and ask, who is it that I want to be? Where do I want to go? What is it that I want to do? And once you figure, and, and when you have the feeling, when you've internalized the feeling of what it is to be that that person doing that thing that you want to do, it's going to feel good. It's going to feel unlike any other thing that you've ever felt before. And you'll know that that's the way to go. And then you have to decide. You make a decision. This is where I'm headed. This is what I'm going to do. This is what it's going to be. And I'm going to get to that point come hell or high water. Like, And now you're on that path. And when you make that decision and you start down the path, you set out to go and to learn the things necessary and to put yourself in the places necessary for you to achieve that outcome, opportunities are just going to start to come to you. The universe is going to get out of your way and it's going to start giving you stuff. And it's going to give you tests. It's going to give you trials. It's going to give you tribulations. You're going to fail at a bunch of stuff. But everything that you fail at is a learning opportunity. You failed at that thing so you could learn something. And then you have to step back and you have to look at yourself again. You have to look at where it is you're going. You have to get that feeling, that feeling of excitement and happiness and contentment and joy by being in that place, doing that thing that you want to do. And that will help you pull the lesson from your perceived failure. And eventually you'll realize that a lot of the stuff that you perceive as being a failure was really not. It was just a stepping stone to the next thing. But that's going to that's gonna make learning to code easier for you because now you have this place where you're trying to get. And instead of just knocking down walls for no reason, you have a purpose for trying to knock down those walls. And it becomes infinitely more enjoyable because you chose the path that you're going to be on. All right, team. It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero. I hope that helped. I hope that puts you on the path to get to where you want to be. And again, if you like this hat and you want a hat of your own, check out writecodedrinkcoffee.com and you can grab your very own swag. All right, team, I'm The Real Casadero, and I will see you in the next video. All right, okay, it's break time. Let's take a break.